Oh, you asked about the, the source of the data on the right chart. It, it's actually not Dr. Christie's data. It's the remote sensing systems, the RSS data that, that is up there. At one point in, in the hearing, <coughs> Senator Cruz said, uh, this is data from remote sensing systems. Right. And would, would as, as someone who works at remote sensing systems, would you agree that your data shows no planetary warming? Well, over the specific time period that Senator Cruz uses, yes. But if you look at a longer time period, no. Well, I guess it depends on which graph exactly you're talking about. One, the, one of the ones that like, Senator Cruz likes to show actually uses the data that I make, which is a measurement of the, um, the um, temperature of the middle trophosphere over time. The entire data set actually starts in 1979 and goes to the present. But he really likes to focus on the part that really after 1998, but he starts in 1996 to the present. And if you look at that, he's technically correct. There is no warming um, during that period in my data set. But there's a couple of things. He starts at that time for a very specific reason, and that's because there's a huge El Nino event in 97-98, which puts a huge spike in the global temperature. And of course, if you start at the top of a hill and you start driving, you're going to go downhill, at least in the beginning. And that's kind of the effect we're seeing here. You start your time series at a place when it's really high and it's pretty easy to get no warming or even cooling if you do that. What would be the optimal length of time that we would want to take if we wanted to look to get an accurate picture? I think the longer the time period you can look at, the better. Because there's lots of fluctuations in the climate. The temperature goes up and down at random on, you know, year to year and decade to decade time scales. And if you look at a longer time period, then you get a better idea of what the overall trend is. I guess that's the other point I was going to make. Senator Cruz focuses on one data set, mine, from one type of instrument, satellites, and he ignores all the other evidence. For example, the surface temperature record, um, you know, things like the Arctic sea ice declining, things like the time of year that plants flower or leaf out or whatever has been changing, all those things, sorts of things he's ignored and he's just kind of glomming on to this one piece of evidence that supports the story he wants to tell.